Welcome again to another episode of Schoolie Giveaway, presented as always by Schoolie Foundation. This is episode five. This is a unique podcast where we read stories submitted by our courageous community in an attempt to win the ultimate prize, a fully converted schoolie that represents not just a mode of transportation, but a vessel of dreams. Let's jump right into the next story. This next story comes to us from a person named Kismet. Kismet's story is the title. Hello all, my name is Kismet. I've been looking for an affordable off-grid shuttle bus or small schoolie for over two years with no avail. I'm 54 and single, so I'm smart and I'm disabled. I'm not necessarily physically disabled, but I've had type one diabetes since I was 16. Spent most of my life abusing insulin so I could be cool and skinny, and now I'm seeing the side effects of those mistakes. I've had feeding tubes and didn't eat food by mouth for over a year. Cut to now, I'm fluffy without the tubes. Life hasn't been easy, but whose has? I've worked with dogs in one capacity or another my entire life, with the exception of being a dice dealer, which is a whole different level of dealing with some every day. I'm healthy and have enough time to do what I want as long as I have some downtime to recover. So I'm back to training dogs again. Pure joy. Speaking of dogs, my road dogs are Old Man Havanes, who is my retired diabetic alert dog. Chester is also blind, and because he spent 10 years keeping me safe, also the king of everything. Ducky Dale is 100 pounds of Great Dane slash Poodle Mix and my balance partner. I use him in public when I'm feeling weak or wobbly. He likes a good half hour of running, and then he's down for the count for the rest of the day. Last up is Psycho Betty, my giant schnauzer. She's petite at 65 pounds. She's currently doing obedience and scent training and protection training. Let's just say the name fits. Because I exercise and train my dogs, we don't need a huge bus. I was actually looking at something at or under 35 feet. My dream bus would have solar and a generator, a shower, but I have options so I don't need one per se. A stove with an oven and at least a full-size bed. We all sleep together. And a place for at least one large crate, Betty is the only untrustworthy one. I know I could give you my entire depressing story, but that's what everyone else is going to be doing. I want to ask you a question instead. What would you call a man with no shins? That is a great question. That's really a good question. Blessing and pick us. Kismet. That's today's story. We hope you enjoy today's story and please remember, we need you to be a part of this incredible journey. Your voice matters. Your vote can change lives. So join us in shaping destinies one story at a time. Thank you for tuning in. Now kindly cast your vote for each story that touches your heart. This is more than a podcast. It's a movement, a shared experience, and a testament to the incredible power of community storytelling. Remember, follow this page and become part of the Schoolie Giveaway, where every voice, every story, and every vote has the power to turn dreams into reality. Go vote for this story on all of our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You can also find this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, and all the podcasting platforms. Every vote, every view, every share and comment helps each story get closer to the goal. If you'd like to share your story, you can email us at mystory@schooliegiveaway.com, or you can check us out at schooliefoundation.com. Thank you for listening to this episode, and we'll see you in the next episode.